Welcome everybody. I hope all is well. I made it to where I'm gonna be camping. I have a fire ring right over here. It's a, it's a nice area. I was planning on going to a different spot, but when I got up here, I was like, you know what? I really just wanna find camp and enjoy being out here. So I ended up finding this spot and I was like, perfect. I'm making this home. So I think I know how I want camp set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get camp set up and situated so I can start enjoying being out here. Okay, well I got camp all uh, squared away and situated. Right now I'm on this trail. I'm actually headed down this trail. I am camped right there. You can take a look. There's my camp between the trees. But now I'm headed down this trail. So this trail, it will fork in a little bit. And at the fork I can take a left and that'll dead end or I can take a right and it will continue on to other connecting trails and as well this road down eventually down that way but i'm gonna take the one where it um dead ends and see what i see have some fun out here i will say as well i did forget my hiking uh shoes so i just have my regular shoes so hopefully the trail isn't that bad Well, I wasn't expecting this, but you know, I pretty much went down the canyon and there's a camping spot right here. The freaking fire ring right over here. So the road I came on, it literally, it gets up, goes up that way. And this is the first spot where, you know, it kind of flattens out and opens up. Man, this is a nice spot too. Gotta remember this for next time. I wasn't expecting this. Firing doesn't look that bad either. All right, let's continue on. Check it out, I made it to the fork in the road. Not the fork that I was expecting to get to, I somehow passed that. So on my way back, I'll be staring at my map as I get closer and closer to where it says there's a fork in the road. 
But anyways, the trail, it continues on that way. And I think I'm gonna take a little, a little bit because the trail I was gonna take also parallels this. And I was thinking of bushwhacking it when I got to the dead end of that trail to this trail and hiking it back. So I may, when I get to that point, debate if I'm gonna bushwhack it that way and see if I can find a trail or the remnants of a trail. But this trail goes this way and then it goes off in that direction. There is like a little pond right here. Oh my God, there's a little fish in there too. That's cool. So yeah, the trail, it just heads on down that way. Veers off into other trails. So I am going to not finish this trail, but go to the point where I was expecting to go to, and then either turn around or bushwhack it. Let's see when I get there. I didn't have to go that far. Um, so my map says maybe somewhere just up there should be another trail that I was expecting to be on. So I think I'm going to hike up that way. Doesn't seem that bad. I see a, a pretty good path I can take. All right, I made it to the top. All right, let's see where we are at. Okay, so it is saying that way just a little bit. There should be some kind of trail. All right, let's head that way. Well, I found the road, it didn't take that long. Uh, if you take a look where those trees are right here, all those small trees, I was on the other side of that. And then literally on the other side of that is this is where the road dead ends, right here. And it continues on that way. So I am actually gonna take this way back to camp, see how much of a road is left. So I'm not sure if I need to go that way or that way. Take a look at the map real quick, see where we need to go, guys. Okay. That way. Yep, okay. We need to go that way, so let's go that way. And uh, I'm almost at where the first fork in the road was supposed to be at, where I was supposed to split. And I will say this uh, trail no longer exists. So the pond, uh, I'm on the other side of the pond and I can see the trail from here. It is uh, right over there. Let's get to it. So 
So we, when we started, we started just up there. And so apparently this is where the split was. And we headed down that way. All right, I'm gonna get back to camp and chill at camp.
Man, I gotta say, I'm having a good time out here. I fixed up the firing. This is what it looks like. It'll work. Picked up a little bit of trash that was around here and around camp. I did go and gather this wood right here. And that's my wood that I brought. So, obviously way more wood than I need. I will say, I did have to uh, chop up a couple of these pieces. And I was more so just breaking them with my leg and whatnot. You know, I'd step on them, crack them, and I did one, and a piece came flying back on my leg. And if you look right here, I got hit in the leg really good with one of those pieces of wood. It hurt at the time, now it doesn't feel that bad. And that's how I have camp set up. Now, I did, if you notice, the truck is a little bit at an angle. Normally, I'll put it parallel to the canopy. I couldn't do that this time because of that tree right over here. It is, uh, it's in the way. So I had to park at an angle. Not that big of a deal, but whatever. So I am actually going to get the fire going right now. I do have, I turned on the citronella candle. And I do have this sucker as well on. I saw a bunch of mosquitoes. So I'm going to get the fire going to help with that. And then at some point I will, so I'm not doing anything. The <laughs> God. All right. So what I was going to say is for dinner tonight, I'm not cooking anything. I'm actually just going to make a turkey sandwich because I really just wanted to lounge around and enjoy being out here. So I'll do that after the fire gets going.
boy, I need my drink. All right, guys, check it out. Here is my turkey sandwich. A favorite of mine, super easy, quick. I also, when I was at the gas station in Phoenix, I was bad and I was like, I'm gonna get these chips. And look, man, because I went up in elevation, it's all puffed up. <laughs> All right, guys, it is pitch black. My sandwich was delicious. I have just been relaxing by the fire. I'm about to add more wood to the fire. This is what it looks like. The wind is kind of blowing it half in my tent, half not in my tent. It's kind of going that way towards my truck, not this area. So I'm actually making some tea right now. I'm warming up some water. But I am going to add more wood to the fire and then hopefully the water will be ready for my tea. All right, I got my tea done. I got a few things to put away. The fire's going like crazy, so I'm gonna be enjoying that um, and the rest of my evening. So I will see you guys at some point tomorrow.
Good morning, guys. I have just been chilling, relaxing. I got the fire going. This is what it looks like. I did grab some more wood just to make it go just a little bit longer. I really don't need it. Let's see what the temperature is right now. <clears throat> it's 66 degrees, so don't need it, but freaking who doesn't love a campfire? Uh, I will say this morning, I woke up to hearing the loggers. I could hear them off in the distance over there. Yeah, I could only hear the machine that was cutting down the trees. I couldn't hear anything else. And then freaking a helicopter kept flying by. But anyways, I have my tea ready. I'm just gonna chill and relax a little bit, watch the fire dwindle down. I am, uh, I am going to make pancakes. So I have just been lounging around, relaxing. My can my pancakes were delicious. They were spot on. They hit the spot. Um, and I have just been enjoying being out here. I've been slowly picking up camp, got everything outside of the tent, you know, kind of all the little stuff pretty much packed up and in the truck. And it's just the big stuff that I got to worry about. But you know, this is where I'm going to pack everything up and head out because I got to start heading out. So this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.